Let me say a few words about Donald Trump. As I do get a lot of questions about this guy. What do I think of him? Is he good? Is he bad? Is he a saviour? What's going on? Is he with the secret project? Is he just a deception? Is he a clever stooge? What? What's going on? Trump, good. Not a magical saviour, but undoubtedly he is a massive nightmare for empire. A giant pterodactyl in the ointment. I like him. He has done more good for America and the world than any other world leader I've ever seen in my life. One big major difference, however, is that you can't see some of the larger things he's done yet because much of it is necessarily covert, necessarily behind the scenes. But we shall see these things in time. Trump speaks straight. He gets stuff done. He's not racist, of course. He's not bigoted. He's not xenophobic. He loves America. He knows it's exceptional, which it totally is. He doesn't talk shit to us. He is not exploiting Americans like Obama, Clinton and the Bushes did. He is not disloyal like they were. Most people I speak to love Trump. In every strata of society. And at first they were quiet about it, but now I've noticed they're getting more vocal, even though the media are trying to suppress that. And I talk to people in the street, in cafes, airports, waiting rooms, supermarkets, whatever, just like everyone else. Most people like Trump. Thank God, they say, thank God for Trump. And on the other side of things, with every case of Trump derangement syndrome that I've witnessed, the seething person was already pretty messed up, already into blame, big style. Already doing all of that before Trump showed up. And now he's here to them, of course. Trump is the perfect target to receive their projected self-loathing. Perfect. What a gift to them. Lovely. They love to hate, don't they? Donald Trump is an enemy of empire. Therefore, he is an ally to all those who wish to see satanic empire end. He is pro-America. Good. Pro-life. Pro-equality of opportunity. Pro-Christian, pro-honesty, pro-constitution, all good things. Pro-family, pro-right to bear arms, great. Pro-energy independence, pro-manufacturing, pro-history, pro-military and law enforcement, good. Pro-dismantling the corrupt big tech and big pharma world killers, good. Pro-everything that I like. So I like him. I've not seen anyone else do that, ever. Nowhere near. And Trump has also rescued more children and adults from human sacrifice and trafficking networks than you could believe. And we're talking millions here. But again, the full story on that would point to the mind-blowing involvement of public figures in trafficking for decades that would send most of the nation into the loony bin. So Trump has to keep his gob shut on that and... Sometimes he lets little clues out and things, but he knows that the so-called optics are relatively important in his campaign against empire. And Trump is against the things that I'm against. Socialism, communism, the swamp, sedition, internationalism, forced diversity, leeches, illegal immigration, sanctuary cities, the sexualization of children... What a lot of people really struggle with concerning Trump is that he does destroy the old illusions people had about American political, cultural and business life. He sort of shatters the artifice of all the fake statesmanship and internationalism, you know, into a million pieces. He has brought decades of political posturing and deceit to an end in a few short years. Sure, you know, JFK was all right in office and Reagan not too bad too. But honestly, really from November 1963 right through to January 2017, we've had 54 years of unscrupulous governance in the White House. And it goes back before that. So people just don't really have any idea of the magnitude of the evil empire that we've been under for so long. They've got no clue of it. None. It's not just a swamp in D.C., it's a stinking sewer that stretches across Europe, Africa, Asia, and down to Australasia too. It's big. In every area of life, not just politics, throughout every segment of our life, this evil corrupts. And as I say, even in modern times, figures like JFK and Reagan, although they might have been attempting to do something good, they were in an impossible position, with deeply compromised and corrupt intelligence services all around them, controlling families no one had even heard.
unheard of, exercising enormous influence through giant corporations and huge banking cartels and, as I say, the compromised bad cells within the intelligence services. And all of this coming together to instruct the office of the president in what he can and cannot do. Or get shot. People die in plane crashes, sudden heart attacks, disappear all the time. Easy. Easy to arrange. So after Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, all very deeply controlled and compromised, we had the outright debauchery of George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush and Barack Obama for 28 years. 28 years of evil. That's a long time. 1989 to 2017. Some people listening to this, that's, that's your whole life. And for the rest of us, it's a big part of our life. Now, Donald Trump is not perfect. <laughs> Where can I begin? He can be vulgar. He can be immodest and very stubborn. But that and all the million other things, so what, I say? Can you think of a better person to do what he has to do? When you position him between a population and empire, he is a shield being pelted by arrows, like a pincushion. He is a battering ram. He is a Hayoka too, a challenger, an exposer. He does things though like no one else could, no one. Anyone else would have been totally crushed or hopelessly corrupted by now, but not him. He's straight. He's straight. Orange man, good. If you care about truth, about reality, if you appreciate the constitution, if you hate empire, if you loathe imperial relativism and collectivism, if you love all that is just in life, if you love freedom, endorse Trump. <laughs>